You've already seen IntelliSense quite a few times in the previous sessions, but have mostly ignored it. The IntelliSense menu is the menu that appears as you're typing code, providing suggestions for what you might mean. IntelliSense is one of Visual Studio's most useful features, and you'll learn how to use it in this session. To begin, open the Shining Stone sample file from your Sample Files folder. And open the Code Behind file of by.aspx. Now you're going to type something to bring up the IntelliSense menu. Add a new line at the end of the button submit order click event handler and type text box. The IntelliSense menu appears showing all available objects that contain the word text box. IntelliSense works best with C Sharp, but you've probably noticed that it will also appear when working with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Although IntelliSense is useful when working with other languages, it isn't as useful as it is with C Sharp. There can be a long delay before IntelliSense appears, and it doesn't always present a complete list of possible choices. Now you're going to select text box address 1. First, you'll need to highlight text box address 1 in the IntelliSense menu. You can do this either by clicking on it, or by scrolling down to it with the arrow keys. A box appears on the right, giving you some information about the selected item. It's not particularly useful in this case, but it can help you when you're not sure exactly what you're looking for. You can now decide that text box address 1 is what you are looking for by either double-clicking on it or pressing Enter. IntelliSense automatically completes the name. Now, you're going to examine the properties of the text box address 1 control using the IntelliSense menu. Add a dot and IntelliSense lists the properties of the text box address 1 control. You can scroll up and down the large list of properties, either by using the scroll bar with the mouse, or by using the arrow keys. You can see all of the text box's properties in this list, plus a few items with different icons, such as Apply Style. Apply Style is a method. There are a lot of different icons in IntelliSense, but here are some of the most common. A class is a type of object. Textbox, for example, is a class. You'll learn more about classes in Lesson 6.1. You can also see controls listed in the IntelliSense menu. You will have noticed that this is the icon used for the controls on your page. Properties are attributes of objects, such as the ones that you can change in Design View. A method is an action, that is, something that an object is able to do. Methods might make changes, or return some kind of value. Methods can have many different uses. You'll learn more about methods in Lesson 6.5. An event is a method that runs in response to something happening. It is rare to refer directly to events using c -sharp code. And a namespace is a container for classes, controls, etc. You'll learn about namespaces in Lesson 6.4. Next, you're going to select the text property using the IntelliSense menu. Scroll down to the text property 
either by using the arrow keys or the scroll bar. Now try refining the search by typing T E. Your search is narrowed to show only the items that contain T E. This allows you to very quickly find an item if you have some idea of its name. Now make sure that text is selected by either clicking on it or by using the arrow keys and press enter or double click on text. Once again, the text is automatically filled in. Now remove the line of code that you added. Close Visual Studio now, saving your changes if prompted. You've now completed Lesson 5-1. Use IntelliSense.